Do you have leftover candy from Halloween? Are you making a killing? Huh, get it? A killing? A killing on today's after Halloween sales. We have leftover candy because we had a cold front come through Texas uh, a couple days ago that has left us in near freezing temperatures for Halloween night, which means all the kids stay home. And we have so much candy left over. I'm going to show you how I'm going to put some of this candy aside, ration it out for our family, but also put it away for long-term food storage so I can keep it more fresh than if I just put it, put it into my refrigerator or left it out where we could get to it all the time. Um, this way we have a little candy that I can just kind of ration as we go. And normally I would probably even keep it in a smaller jar than this, but these are what I have right now. Uh, I have a lot of these free, so I'm going to use these. But also remember that from today forward, unless you found some last night for cheap, uh, Halloween candy is going to be on sale for up to 80-90% off in a lot of places. So go stock up. It's really good. Go stock up now. So, what I have here are jars that I have filled with Halloween candy. And, because that didn't work, then I've put my lid on my jar. It's a clean lid, ready to go. I have the Food Saver jar attachment for the wide mouth, but this will work on regular mouth as well. Just slip the lid on and make sure it's secure and tight. Place my hose from my Food Saver into my jar. Um, if you picked up the Food Saver kit, or even bought just one of the other sizes, it comes with a hose that you can fit into any machine. Um, they usually have a port that you can put them into, but my food saver happens to have um, this retractable hose built in. So the hose goes on here. You get it started, turn on your machine, and if you have, like I do, an accessory uh, button, and it will get started. See it moving? Now, I have a vacuum sealed container full of chocolatey goodness. Let me take this off without breaking everything. This is filled with chocolatey goodness. Um, everything is still safe. It just expanded um, the packaging inside. So it's not as if it's broken anything, but these are all still good. Now, I will keep the lid on because I like to do that with my vacuum seal products. And I have chocolate that will last in the pantry for a good six months, eight months, a year, however long. It won't last that long. It'll get open like probably next month. But it will last. It's a good way to put chocolate up. You can do this with any candy. I mean, we did it at Valentine's Day. We'll do it at Christmas. Um, it's always a way for you to put up with some chocolate and even your chocolate chips. So, thought I'd give you that tip. There you go. Thanks for watching. Happy November, by the way.